Hi everyone, so today I had to put on makeup and do my hair for a video for work, so I thought might as well film a video for booktube as well. Today I'm going to do a book haul of just some of the books I've accumulated over the past couple of months, um, so I'm just going to jump right in and get started. So the first book I got is uh, Dead Wake by Eric Larson. <laughs> Um, and this is about the sinking of the Lusitania, I believe, or the last crossing of the Lusitania. So I don't really know anything about this, uh, even though I was a history major, um, primarily because I don't know a ton about more modern history. I was mostly an ancient historian and I've been wanting to get back into the practice of reading historical uh, books so I thought this would be a good one. I know he does a lot of true crime stuff um, and I thought about getting The Devil in the White Castle I think is the one um, but I kind of know that story already so I thought I'd do something a little different and this had some pretty good ratings so I'm pretty excited to jump in. The next book I got is Homegoing by Ya um, Jesse. I believe is how you pronounce her last name. I had to look it up and I bought this for a book club. Uh, I already read it or discussed it for the book club. Really enjoyed it. This is about two sisters or two half sisters who never know each other and they um, are both kind of on different sides of the slave trade in Africa and you follow them and their families uh, like on these divergent paths basically throughout history. And it's a really wonderful book. I loved the writing, I loved how it was structured, and I just thought it was really great. It's a very timely book, and so if you are someone who's maybe hosting a book club, this is a really great one because it's also very short, um, which is nice. I think it's like just under 300 pages, or it's at, just exactly at 300 pages, the paperback edition. Um, so it's just like a great thing to have on deck for a book club or also just a great book to read in general um, and again really quick read which is super nice. Alright, um, the next book I have is Assassination Vacation by Sarah Vowell. This is another historical book that I was interested in and I think it basically follows her on a road trip as she kind of sees these historical moments of presidential assassinations and maybe attempted assassinations, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is just another look for me into American history. Again, I'm a history major, um, or I was a history major, but I'm not super well versed in American history because I did mostly ancient history and it often gets me in trouble in trivia groups. So I'm hoping this will give me a little bit of a better context for some of these important historical moments. Um, also, this is just another author I've wanted to check out for a while, so I'm really excited. I, and I got this book and the Eric Larson book both from a used bookstore, uh, so it was really safe during COVID times to go in, um, and it was very slow when I went in too, which was super nice because uh, I went in on like a Friday during the day. So if you can support like your local bookstores, I highly recommend doing so. Um, that's how I got this book by supporting local bookstores. So. Um, of course, cases are rising now, so I would actually recommend not going to a store if you don't need to, but whatever. The next book I got is a book everyone and their mother has read. This is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, um, or Reid, sorry, not plural. This book is follows Evelyn Hugo, and I believe like it's about her life and all the people she married, and all of the experiences she had while married to them and that's like literally all I know about it. I'm actually impressed I haven't gotten more spoiled on the book considering how long it's been out um, but I am very excited to read this and I think I'm going to dive into it this holiday season because it's kind of a chunky boy and I'm hoping it'll kind of keep me entertained um, especially because I'm going to be alone for a lot of this holiday season because of COVID. So. Sick. The next book is Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield, and I am very excited about this book. I got it for my birthday this year, which was a couple months ago, and I just haven't had the chance to get into this. So I've been trying to get it for some other books, and I'm really excited, one, to get into like another sort of fantasy-ish book. Um, I was interested in this book because it came up on like a list of books that were similar to the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden, and some 
my understanding is this is kind of like fairy tale esque, which I'm like really liking. Uh, if you've read like Spinning Silver or Brooded by Nomi Novik, it's kind of a similar vibe. And also the Winter Night trilogy by Catherine Arden, very similar vibe. And so I'm hoping this is gonna have a similar vibe. Um, I don't really know much about it. Uh, let's read the back cover. Oh, apparently it's about a child that gets brought back to life and I'm assuming she's like magic or something. So I'm pretty excited to read this. This is another like nice kind of thick book. So I'm also hoping to get into this over the holiday season um, and to get kind of like taken away on a journey, hopefully. Okay, the final book I have is Lincoln and the Bardo by George Saunders. And this is a book that I believe follows Abraham Lincoln after his son passes away and then kind of like mythologizes and kind of takes some kind of fictionalizes parts of that journey for him. <laughs> um, it's not funny that his son died, it's funny that I called it a journey. And so yeah, I'm kind of really interested in this. It, I just remember hearing a lot about it um, when it came out and so I've just been curious about it for a while. So I figure why not get it? This was another book that was at the used bookstore and so it wasn't very expensive and I just thought like I've been so interested in this for so long I should just buy it and read it and see um, what the fuss is about. So that is what's going on with this book and I'm excited again and I also think this is going to be one that I might want to dive into during this holiday season because it just looks like very, I don't know, moody and I like stuff about ghosts during the holidays for some reason and Halloween but I don't know I like I like like dark stuff during the holidays because it's like kind of dark and cold and fun so yeah that is my book haul so it was about seven books and yeah thanks for watching <laughs>